hey YouTube, it's Stack Smart here, and I wanted to give a stack update for October. Okay, so the first thing I wanted you to see was this 2014 uh, 1994 Australia Kookaburra. Really pleased with that. Okay, the next one is this uh, 2009 um, Silver Cook, then I've got a 2011. Kookaburra, two of those, 2013 Kookaburra, followed by a number of these um, Australian koala bears, they are um, 2011 with the Berlin Bear Privy, and uh, yeah they're a really beautiful coin, I really like them, got mother and young with these ones. And uh, yeah, as I said, I've got a few of these, so how many have I got? Three of those. And then the 2012, these were 50,000 mintage as well, with the Berlin Bear Privy Mark from the German show. Um, yeah, so I really like those. I think they're going to escalate in price. It's been a bit interesting with the koalas, they haven't gone up as much as I expected. Um, so that's interesting. Okay, on this row, I've got the 2008 Year of the Mouse coins. And uh, these are 300,000 mintage from 2008. I've recently done a video uh, that I shall um, link up about the Lunar series. These are my one ounce coins. So this is Year of the Ox 2009. And uh, I managed to get a deal on these 2013 Year of the Snake coins, the coloured ones. So these are of a small mintage. Um, yeah, I managed to get four of them. I think you'll find. I think the same as me, I think they're a really pretty coin. So, yeah, I've got four of those. And then this morning I was really delighted to to get these Lunar Year of the Horse ones. I've got four of those. I'm hoping they're not the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Yeah, chuff with those, 300,000 mintage, very pretty. Uh, I've got a 2011 silver frosted wallaby there um, from the Royal Australian Mint. Interesting coin that. And then I've got some halves here. 2008 coloured Year of the Mouse half. Uh, two of those. And a 2010 Year of the Tiger half. Yeah, I really like these little coins. They're ace. And then I've got a number of these little Year of the Rabbit 2011 halves. I managed to get a nice little deal on them. So I bought a few of them, <coughs> as you can see. So I think I've got about eight of those. Uh, the the multiplying like rabbits as you can imagine and then got this 2012 year of the dragon halves uh, yeah I love those uh, pretty ones found that the predatory animals always uh, do better than the non predatories uh, in my opinion and they're escalating in value at the moment those um, okay so on to my Chinese pandas love this this is a 1990 Chinese panda that I got through last couple of days, followed by a few of these 2009 pandas that I got on a deal, and um, yeah, so I quite like these 2009 pandas, they're pretty cute, and um, I've got some 2008 panda up here, which is one of my pride and joys, they're a lovely coin them, I like the design on that, and then I've got a number of these 2010 pandas, these are just going to go up and up in value, in my opinion. I've got three of those, followed by one, two, three, four, five, six of the 11 ones. I think they're going to be up at £40 really soon. Got a lovely finish to them. Okay, over to this row. I've got the uh, yeah, 2010 Temple Wolf. That's a cheeky little coin, pretty rare. Followed by the Grizzly that's escalating in price at the moment. And uh, I bought a number of these Cougars that I'll show you in a minute. For six of them. Because I think because they're a predatory animal they're going to go up in value. And then we've got a nice shiny Moose. Um, antelope, the Pronghorn one. And the Wood Bison. So that completes that series. And then a cheeky little Maple Leaf from 2011 to complete my Canadian area. Okay, over here I've got a number of these cougars. Uh, I think I've got five, yeah, six in total. 
like the detail on those, they're a nice clean. And then a coloured silver eagle that's got the um, compass and triangle on from 2007. An American silver eagle from 13. A silver Britannia from 13. Australian Philharmonic from 30, from 11. And uh, an SBSS Freedom Girl. So, there you go. So, we're getting up to about 60 plus ounces now with this uh, in my collection. So, yeah, it's getting quite big. Quite enjoying the collecting. I'm also buying a few of the UK sovereigns at the moment um, for different reasons. We have to pay 20% VAT on the silver and no vat on the gold at the moment in the UK so anyway hope you enjoyed the video please like comment and subscribe and uh, if you've got any questions about any of my coins just feel free to ask and I'll um, I'll answer them anyway that's all for now stack smart and be well